Hello again everyone, Dflect here for Fair Gaming. Came to bring you a quick video on keybinds. Uh, what to do, where to do it, how to change them, and all that fun stuff. So if you don't know what a keybind is, it's just a key that you bind in an ability to or where it is in your action bar. So for me, like uh, Deathfield, because Deathfield to click on, it doesn't always cast, so you can be clicking and clicking and it don't cast. So you definitely want to use something like that on a keybind. I use Q. Um, it's just, you know, <laughs> just happens to be what I use it for. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why. I just prefer it there. I played some Call of Duty and that happens to be your flashbangs and stuff. And I happen to put it in that spot and I don't strafe to the left. Instead, I just move. So I took out my strafing to the left, but I do have my death field there to use. Uh, as for me, I also use, uh, because I use a one-handed keyboard instead of a full keyboard, it only has certain buttons, like my keys to the right only go to T, G, and B. That's uh, as far to the right as mine goes, but underneath I do have an extra row of N and P. So I use P for my last rate just because of where it sits. It uh, works well for me. And then I use R for Reaper's Rush and F for Assassinate and different items like that. So I set up mine the way it works for me, what works well, what doesn't. Obviously, you probably with all the action or skills you have won't be able to accommodate all of them, but you won't need to for the most part. <laughs> uh, so how do you key bind? Well, that's easy enough. You go to preferences, control P if you like, or go to the top drop down. Key bindings, big section right here. Uh, there is lots of different key bindings you can use. I have a bunch set up under uh, different items. Uh, so you have your movement keys. If you want to strafe, see mine's unbound because I took it out. Your auto run, your turn left, your turn right. You can actually switch your turn. So if you want to turn with the mouse, you can use the mouse to turn and uh, use your strafes only on your A&D. That's up to you. All depends on how you like to set yours up. Uh, it's pretty pretty generic, pretty easy. Uh, you can go to your quick bar. This is where you'll be doing the majority of them. So as you can see, I have quick bar. Uh, button number seven is actually my last rate. It's binded with P as well. So I can use P on my keyboard. Uh, I also have a few bound on. You have to go see which quick bar it is. So I'm on quick bar two, which is the second row. Uh, I have these ones bound on mine. All you have to do is click on it, click the button you want, and then uh, you press your desired command, and then it will switch from unbind to bind, and you can press one. So let me just press J. And J now comes up in quick bar two, slot four. So once I apply, you'll see it come on the recklessness, and you can now see a little J there. You want to unbind it. Click the unbind and now J no longer is part of recklessness. So it's pretty easy to do. You can do it for all your quick bars, quick bar two, quick bar three. Once you're past three, you'll have to know which one four, five and six are, but that's easy to tell. You can just put it in your first slot. So you would go quick bar four, slot one, bind something and you'll find where it is. Uh, pretty simple. Set it up the way you like. Uh, is it important to have uh, keybinds? No. Does it help? Yes, it definitely definitely helps. Uh, you can do actions so much quicker. Like I can just target the enemy and then Reaper's Rush and, rush and uh, automatically assassinate. I don't actually have to do anything down here. So it does, does help. So you can throw off some pretty good combos quickly there. But uh, you know, it's not fully necessary you can play without key binding that's for sure but give it a whirl it, uh, it might speed things up for you you might have less problems when you're down here clicking trying to click on death field and trying to cast it in front of you because it's a pain to throw and sometimes it doesn't cast right if you've ever played assassin i don't know what the other ones are for um all the other classes off the top of my head but uh, that's just the example i use because if you're trying to click it i know it does does cause some headaches so just a quick guide on key binding uh, it's pretty easy. Let me know if you guys like it, if you don't like it, uh, if you live with it, if uh, you, you have them bound but you don't use them. Let me know what you guys are up to. 
Anyways, this was Deflect with Firm But Fair Gaming. And always, if you could subscribe, it greatly helps me out. Like, share, and we'll see you in the next video.